Now I did try and make this beanie from the top down, but it just wouldn't work because our scales or our petals or whatever you want to call them end up being upside down. That would kind of looked a bit weird. So here we go. Our petals are starting to form here. So we basically work this all the way around. So because we've just finished off one of our petals, our next bit is our single stitch here. So we go in around the back, so working in from the front, around the back, and completing a slip stitch as normal. So now we are up to our double stitch here. So working around the post of the first one, so going in from the front of work, behind the stitch, out the other side, and then working five double crochets. I'm actually looking through the camera to do this so now I know if I am if you are able to see it properly it's quite weird to do it this way so that's one, two, three, four, five. need to work up the other side of our second stitch here so turning, working into the bottom, in, so into the bottom side of it and up around the stitch. There's our stitch on our hook there. Working five. Like I said, it's easy if you try and grab hold of it, and it won't get away on you. Three oopsie days, four, five, back to a single one. Now you'll know you've done it right if your petal lays flat. If it doesn't lay flat, then something's gone a bit wrong there. So we want to go into our single behind the single there. At the other side and completing our slip stitch. Now I said single but I'm, it is a double crochet but I just mean it's one single stitch by itself. So now have our double stitches here, our two together. You've probably figured out what we're doing by now. Around the back of the stitch working a double crochet as normal. Working five of those, so I'm just going to grab hold of that stitch. It's two, three, four, and five. Working out the other side of this double one here. One, two, three, four, five. Coming up to our single stitch by itself, going around the back, out the other side, and completing a slip stitch. Now you just want to repeat this all the way around. your first row and I'll stop when I come up to just before the end of the first row to show you what to do.